the red team. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We made it. We won. We beat the boys yet again and sealed our spots in being top three. Guy, Danielle, Alan, it's been an absolute pleasure and an honor. And thank you so much for making the effort to travel halfway around the world to be here to judge this very, very special night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think we lost because it all came down to dessert and Frank slipped up. Christine and Becky. You have confirmed a place in the top three of MasterChef. <laughs> well done. Blue team, there's a very daunting, in fact, the most horrific pressure test coming up for both of you. The pressure test is like Clash of the Titans. It's me and Frank, one-on-one. -on -one. When we say pressure test, it's unlike ever before. Me and Josh, right back in the kitchen, I'm ready to go into the pressure test. This is gonna be intense. Welcome. Ladies, head up to the gallery. You are safe from this pressure test. Well Thank done. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Josh. Frank, it's pressure test time, and that means that one of you is just one challenge away from leaving the MasterChef kitchen forever. This pressure test is all about the gorgeous, yet oh-so-treacherous souffle. Oh, looks like a cheese souffle. A stunning, sumptuous, delicious white cheddar cheese souffle. Josh. Yes. How good are you at making a stunning souffle? I understand the techniques. I feel like I can put them together and make them work. Frank. I made it a couple times. Tough one. Mastering a cheese souffle is so difficult. The timing is everything. And it's about to get more difficult. Guys. I'm not in the mood for a cheese souffle today. Oh my gosh. At the same exact time as you bring Gordon his savory cheese souffle, I want. <laughs> oh my God, they're going to make two. A raspberry souffle. Hmm. We're not finished yet. You can't forget about me. I want one of these. Dark chocolate souffle. Thank God it's not me in that pressure test. I don't know how they're going to make three different souffles in 60 minutes. One hour. On the dot. Into this challenge, both of you are going to produce a stunning, savory cheese souffle and a beautiful, rich, delicious chocolate souffle and a stunning, acidic raspberry souffle all at the same time. Honestly, guys, it's almost impossible. Why can't you guys all eat the same one? Oh no. <laughs> that would be too easy. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm ready. I'll take it on. Both of you, please head to your stations. On your stations, you will find identical ingredients. We are giving you one hour and two ovens. You are giving us three perfect souffles. Got it? Got it. Got it. Your 60 minutes starts now. Very difficult. Whoever comes out on top of this one, in my mind, deserves to go straight through this final, let alone the top three, because it is so daunting. But the real zinger is this one savory and two sweet, because you can't even use the same base. Getting one of these up perfectly mm -hmm. is a challenge in itself. The secret to any good souffle is in the egg whites. If they're not done evenly and that egg white is not broken down, bang, you'll never get any form of rage. Josh certainly made some stunning desserts for us in the past. Frank, desserts aren't his strong point. Frank's not used to being in the pressure test. He's not used to that intensity. Josh now 
you know, he's so much more experienced mm -hmm. because he's been there four times. Yeah, so much of this, though, is also that technical know-how, you know? And what we're seeing right now, Frank actually writing the times down. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got that money, math background, and this might be a place for him to have that shine through. Right. Tonight's game is all about the timing. So get all your bases made first. Between the chocolate and the cheese one, they've got to go in first. The raspberry's going to be a lot lighter. Frank. Yes. Which one's going in first? The first one that's going to go in is the cheese souffle, because I know it's going to take longer mm -hmm. than the chocolate and then the raspberry. Josh. Yes, chef. How are you feeling? Feeling great, chef. You went home on a pressure test. Can you seriously beat him? I definitely can beat him. <laughs> How's your cheese souffle going to outsmart Frank's? I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use um, a little bit of nutmeg and paprika to give it some flavor. I'm also going to use white cheddar. It feels so good to be upstairs in the balcony right now. Creating three souffles to come out at the exact same time is damn near impossible. And um, I feel for these guys. Right now, I'm just working from right to left. And I just need to get all my bases going and then I can uh, start assembling the souffles and working on the meringues. The meringues uh, require a lot of attention, so it's imperative that I stay on top of it. I've had just as many good desserts as he has, so I don't really think I'm an underdog. Joe, what are you looking for from your raspberry souffle? I want it to be light, delicate, fragrant, like smelling a beautiful glass of red wine. For the chocolate souffle, what I want is something, you know, almost like eating a chocolate cloud. Maybe a little bitter note from the cocoa. I want it just delicious and light. Mm -hmm. How about the cheddar? For my cheddar souffle, what I don't want to see is big lumps of egg white mm -hmm. anywhere. So that even distribution of those egg whites has to be almost beaten in. You've got to have the confidence that you, you want a see. souffle, not an omelet. Exactly that. Frank, how are we doing? Hey, chef. What are you putting in there? Putting a little bit of smoked paprika. I pray that that's the cheese. This is the cheese one, yeah. <laughs> How we doing, Josh? It's rough. You worried? Hell yeah, I'm worried. Which one worries you the most, Josh? The cheese souffle. Gordon's souffle? Why? Because it's uh, very intricate with the fat and the cheese. Fat and the cheese, yes, yeah, tricky. I think th these things should be going in the oven soon, right? You ready? Yes. Just over 40 minutes gone, under 20 minutes to go. Come on. Souffles have got to start hitting the oven. No one has one even in the oven yet. So, yeah. Josh, mm -hmm. for the raspberry souffles, adding whole raspberries to the mix. That's a big risk. And if he's kind of thinking that out of the box, if he's off the rails, then I'm worried about him. Frank seems to be going a more traditional route. I think that a traditional souffle will win this competition, and I think Frank has the edge. I think that Frank is playing it too black and white, a little too technical. Josh, a little bit more intuitive, even though he's going out of the box with the raspberry. And if he can do that, it's his game. Guys, last 10 minutes to go. Josh, I don't have any. He just put his cheese in. Now I'm scrambling like hell. I have seconds before it's too late to get my chocolate souffle in. And I see Frank, and he's calmer than me. And I'm thinking, damn, this dude is really the ice man. Get them in the oven. Come on. There's Josh. He's putting Josh. his last two now. With nine minutes. They're going to be raw. Just put them in. I mean, I don't even know if there's enough time. There's no way in hell that's going to cook in eight and a half minutes. I could be going home. I mean, this is intense. Now. I think for the first time in the history of MasterChef, we may have given them a challenge that's not doable. Two minutes to go. Come on. We may have given them a challenge that's not doable. It's all out of their hands now. It's in the oven. 90 seconds to go. Come on. <sighs> I'm nervous as hell. The raspberries went in a little late. They're going to have to hurry and cook. I'm worried about the raspberry, man. Cheese are rising, and the raspberry and the chocolate aren't really rising yet. Guys, a word of warning. When you grip those souffles, now is not the time to drop them. Last 60 seconds, guys. If they need more heat, crank up the oven. Josh's cheese souffles look a little better. You got this, you guys. Please have all three souffles on your tray, ready to serve. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Speed up. 4, 
three, two, one. Serve, let's go, come on. From the beginning, I always knew that Josh and I were gonna end up going head to head. Three souffles, 60 minutes. 